Over-the-counter nasal decongestion sprays can provide quick relief for seasonal allergies. Varieties with active ingredients such as phenylephrin, oxymetazoline, and xylometazoline are the most effective. But be careful, after a few days of nasal decongestant use, rebound congestion can develop, causing even more stuffiness and making you reach for the nasal spray over and over again. Before you know it, you can only find relief if you use the spray. This can end up being a big problem because repeated use of nasal sprays can damage cells in blood vessels lining the nasal passageways, the mucous membranes, and cartilage in the septum. Although most people use the sprays as intended and get good results, Harvard researchers have found that one of every seven patients with sinus and nasal obstruction has abused nasal sprays and may experience rebound congestion if they stop using the product. If you have been overusing nasal decongestants, you can kick the habit if you use a little willpower and the right tools. First, clear your medicine cabinet, car, and work desk of all nasal spray decongestants. Second, be prepared for the rebound effect. You'll probably experience what you think is the worst congestion of your life, but you can get through it. It could take up to two weeks for the symptoms to clear. Use a saline spray in lieu of the decongestant spray to help clear the congestion. You can make one up at home using a quarter teaspoon non-iodized salt and a half a cup warm distilled water. Fourth, drink hot herbal teas. The steam will help soothe the inflamed tissues. Applying a hot compress to the area will do the same thing. And lastly, pick up some nasal strips. These will widen the nasal passage by holding the nostrils open, which will come in handy when sleeping. You could also have your allergist prescribe you a nasal spray containing steroids, since they do not cause a rebound effect and can be used on a daily basis. For more information on how to treat allergy symptoms, check out other videos on this site.